Hello and welcome back to Ignorant Normers. Let's play of The Elder Scrolls for Oblivion. And this is part 44, I believe. And yeah, last time we just finished off a quest for Reynold Drellis. Um, I think we're quite low on weight now. Don't know what's weighing me down. Four more than I had before. I suppose I could drop that, drop that. That can be dropped now. Sorry, I'm just checking out what's weighing me down a little bit here. Nothing really. All right. So we're gonna decide what we're gonna do next. I think we do this. I think it was a sneak 62. Should be fine, shouldn't it? Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do this quest. Let's carry on with us Thieves Guild stuff for now. First thing we need to do in normal Thieves Guild style, find a beggar. How do you do? Here's one. Please be generous, kind sir. I'll be generous depending on the information you give me. Theranus. He is a skillful thief. Oh, uh, I, re I seem to remember something about him. Something recent. Oh, something important. Uh, Something is missing in my head. Is that your way of saying, uh, I will guess so up on what? <laughs> That's probably true, but we won't insult the, uh... Yes, it would. <laughs> the beggars. Uh, Theranis was drinking in the Two Sisters' Lodge. Uh, he was bragging about stealing something from the castle. Unfortunately, uh, Captain Dion was also in the Two Sisters' Lodge. Oh, he arrested Theranis and hauled him off to the dungeons. Uh, how can I get to see him? Into the Skingrad dungeon? Not likely. Oh, not unless you got yourself arrested. Oh, of course you're a thief. <laughs> oh, just break in. Good point. Here's what I... Unfortunately. Oh, his voice changed. Here's what I know. You ready? Theranus was drinking in the Two Sisters Lodge. He was bragging about stealing something from the castle. Unfortunately, Captain Dion was also in the Two Sisters Lodge. Do you he see that? And this is where Oblivion does get some... Why would you have a voice actor do different lines and then in the game mash them together? It just, it just seems weird that suddenly his voice changes. Anyway, let's go see if we can find Theranus and Captain Dion. We're going to initiate sneak mode as much as we can. I really want that sneak up. Going to start getting to some other quests. I mean, you can do it at this point, I suppose. It's not that difficult. I just like having a really high sneak skill because I'm like that. So I brought strength, probably intelligence up, so I might as well just work on sneak, on agility and not speed. Yeah. So we're just staying stealth as much as possible.
I mean, sneak goes up fairly quickly, to be fair, so it's not a big issue. Ah yes, Castle Skingrad. It's a bit different than the rest of the castles and there is a reason why you'll find that out soon enough. Visitors ain't allowed down here. Are they not? Um, with 50 gun. Oh, but it will earn you two years in Skindrad's dungeon. Now get lost before I decide to report you. Okay, is there any work? I heard that Shungro Yara is looking to hire. He's the butler for the Count. Go speak to him. Excellent. Be seen. Wow. That's what happens when you get that dust on that lens. Now it turns like a dream. Uh, not the barracks. Courtyard. So, he's looking to hire. Excellent. Julius Sexius. Mercenter. It's you. Hi. Not only does Shamir make a good wine. Well, he's not even Anytime. here. Oh, he's in town. Go all the way back now. Hmm. Oh well. Anyway, um let's uh, thank you again for all the people who have been supporting the channel and basically giving it a lot of love and especially this let's play I'm really enjoying playing it the only thing that's slowing me down is I'd love to play it in one lump well I'd love to just do loads of like two hour long episodes but it makes it hard for people to digest and watch well met. I find and I want people to be able to comment, make notes, ask about mechanics. I like answering questions like that, especially when I'm fairly knowledgeable about uh, well, about a game like I'm um, this one. Oh, here he is. Sorry, you want me? I'm Shamgro Yarog, the Count's butler. You're just who I want. I wanted to work at Castle Skinger. I need someone to slot food to the prisoners. I'll pay you two gold a week, plus half a loaf of bread. And a glass of mead each day. I'm having trouble hiring these days. Uh, I'll set the job. You will? I mean, good. <laughs> uh, mind your manners in the castle. Stay out of Count Hasildur's quarters. And don't let me catch you in the wine cellar. The jail guards in the dungeon will unlock the cell block door if you ask them. Feed the prisoners once a day. I don't care when. Cool, so we don't have to worry about a specific time. Tell me about Skingrad. If it's not one thing, it's another. The Count is very particular about his food and drink. Everything must be just so. Really? Uh, it's about rumors. Marie Paliella is quite a hard worker. She's in the chapel day and night, tending to the sick and injured. Well, that's very, very noble of her. To be fair. How very nice of her. Get back to work. Yeah, I'm going back to work.
There is a place I can properly cheese sneak if I wanted to. I might even show you, I might, for people who have never played the game, I might show you exactly where it is. I'm not really going to use it. Because my sneak should go up high enough. I might use it when it's like stupidly high, like 95, and it just takes ages to bring it up. I think the problem now is my blade. I think I need to bring my blade up. I'm listening. Which basically means I'm gonna have to start using blade a lot more. Like I said, I wonder if Bound Dagger works. Because I might use the Bound Dagger. Let's try and bring up Blade. Although, we could probably do. Let's have a look here. Probably could do an upgrade to a silver short sword here. It's not doing the right amount of damage, but then again, if my blade's low, it's not going to be doing the right amount of damage. So, Out of anyway, what are you? Open the door. I'm the slop drudge. Give you guys a key, but no, I got to keep locking and unlocking the door for the slop drudges. Follow me. Excellent. So I hope everybody's having a good day. The the happy. It was Thanksgiving in America today, so or the day that I'm recording this. So you must be the new slop drudge. Um. So you know, thank you for uh, turning up. I am. Uh, can I talk to you? Are you here to rescue? Uh. Just unlock the door. A couple of hours after you're gone, it'll be quiet again, and I can sneak out. I want some information first. I want to know about Thranis. You mean the thief? He was in the big cell with that Argonian. They were always whispering to each other. The pale lady took him days ago. The pale lady? Every few days, she comes for one of us. Some return, <coughs> some don't. Those that are taken three times never return. This was Theranus' third time. Where did she say that? I don't know. She took the Argonian less than an hour ago, though. He put up quite a struggle. He was bleeding all over the place. Don't let the guards catch you. Well, you gave me the information I want, so... You're welcome. So I'm going to work on agility, so I might as well just keep opening doors for that security skill. Did wonder if there was a clue in there. Um. I'm gonna close that because I can't remember. Oh, right, not close. That's it. A few lock picks. Always useful. So the wine cellar. So this is why I told you to keep out the wine cellar. Oh yeah. 
can't remember if there's anybody about here. We pull this candlestick with the obvious blood marks. Turn that so nobody sees us. And head down. Oh, and there's the pale lady. And I'm pretty sure she aggroes on you straight away. So we're not going to take any risks. And we're just going to shoot her. And as you might notice, she's called pale lady for a reason. She is a vampire. Hence why the silver arrows did a lot of damage. There's Theranus. Theranus is dead. I found his body in the secret chamber with Amuse and the pearl it sits. Amuse. Again. Keep bumping into each other. I keep helping you out. Human blood. No, thank you. We need to get to safety. Well, you do. Uh, that would be me. I am so glad you are here to save me from the vampire. Those Creighton Skingrad guards caught me stealing a fish and locked me up. You have saved my life again. You are a true friend. I will not forget this. Uh, I've decided to join the Thieves Guild. No more jails for me. Good. Tell me about Theranis. Theranis? How do you know about him? He was my sailmate. At least until the Pale Lady took him away. Did he ever mention a book? No, but he did give me a message about a treasure to deliver to the Thieves Guild if I was ever to get out. After the first time Theranis was taken by the Pale Lady, he knew he was going to die. Get me out of the castle, and I'll give you his message. Okay then. Um, tell me about Lost Your Drift Tamriel. That's Theranis' treasure. I know where it is. But I'm not telling you anything until we're out of here. As soon as we are out of sight of the castle's main... Tell me about the Pale Lady. Filthy vampire. She took my cellmate, Theranis, a few days ago. If it hadn't been for you, I would have been next. Let's go. I hope you're good at snake. Because I am. Right, quiet. We'll go for the dining hall. Quietly now. I think we're safe now. Pretty sure they don't stop us because there's no way you can avoid the guard at the end of the corridor here. Our sneak's about to go up. Ah, oh, for this bit the guards mysteriously disappeared. How useful.
I think you can break sneak here. Right, tell me. Anything from Tell me about the lost history. He told me to give this message to any member of the Thieves Guild that asked about him or a book. You didn't know it were a book. Look under the bush near the well behind the restaurant's house. I was going to take it for myself, but I owe you a great debt. You should take it. Thank you. I will. Safe journey. Well, that solves that quest. That one's not too difficult, I don't think. Because, uh, yeah, there's not that much sneaking to be done there. It's more finding the fact that there's a secret place in the corner and all that stuff. And that's not hidden very, very well, is it? I mean, come on. If you were a guard, you're walking past, like, do -do 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 -do, I'm doing a patrol. Oh, there's a book here. Really now. Right, let's get this back to Screever. Excuse me, my lord. Sign a lock. I'm sorry to impose upon you like this, but I'm in need of assistance and I don't know what to do. My husband, Alaron, is missing. Um, Alaron Locke? It all started when Alaron became foolish and started gambling. He'd visit the arena every week and spend our hard-earned money on bets. I told him to stop, but he didn't listen. He was certain he could win us a fortune and move us somewhere nicer, like the Imperial City. It didn't take long for Alaron to begin losing. He resorted to borrowing money from a usurer to cover his losses and place new bets. As you can imagine, it didn't pay off. He ended up owing around 500 gold. We could never have that kind of money to pay back the usurer. So what happened to Alaron? Yesterday, the usurer, Curden Gro Dragel, sent for my husband to meet him at the Lonely Suitor Lodge. He hasn't returned since. I fear for his life. Curden isn't known for his patience. Please, I'm not wealthy, but I'd give anything to see Alaron again. You... you will? Oh, thank you. Please be careful. I don't wish any harm to befall you either. I do miss him so. And when he gets back, I'm gonna kill him for making me worry like this. You should be careful in your choice of words. There's a two chance he's already dead. I don't know much about that ghost, but some say he died in a horrible shipwreck. I would stay away from him if I were you. Bad omen. Each night he wanders the shore of Nibbon Bay. Then he stops and looks mournfully out to sea. If you're interested, you may want to see Gilgondoran at Silverhome on the water. When it comes to local legends, he's the best source in town. I will do that, thank you. So that's two new quests picked up. And yes, Screever's place is closed. So, how much money do we have? Getting close, I suppose. Just seeing if we've got enough to put, start buying his next property. Well, as this is silver on the water, we'll have a quick Gil word with Silver Home Gil Gondor in here. About this fallen watchman. The watchman looks like he may have been a sailor. No one knows where he came from or why he looks so sad. I don't like talking about the dead like they're some kind of tourist attraction, but that spirit has been making his ghostly journey for years now. We've learned to just accept that he's there. Every night, short as clockwork, he appears at Bon Watch Camp at 8 on the shore of Nibbon Bay. He's never harmed anyone, but most people give him a wide berth. You seem curious enough, so I'll be glad to pinpoint where he appears on your map. 
Yeah, and you will still have the same problem where your voice changes in the middle of conversations. Can I get a bed for the night? There's a room free, all right. Best you'll find in Reveal, if I do say so. 20 gold, I'll take right. it. You'll have to go upstairs to the second floor. Your room is the second door on... Second door on the right. Thank you. I've sighted the forlorn watchman again. I Every see time you. I see that Hello. ghost, it gives me the creep. <laughs> Second door on the right. 20 gold for this. It's a bit crap. But I won't complain too much. I'll sleep for 11 hours. Have a good long rest. We've only been taking short breaks recently. And thorn, speak to me. Go see our friend Screever. She downstairs, yes, she is. You have found Theranus and the lost histories of Tamriel? Well, Theranus, no, the book, yes. Yeah. Theranus is dead? <coughs> I grieve for him, but at least you have the book. The Grey Fox has sought this book for many years. You have earned the reward. Here is your payment. Actually, I don't know. I've, I've obviously lost the book now, but if I could, I can't remember if I could read the book and what it says. I think it does give you a little clue of what the Grey Fox is trying to do you are in the end. Skillful, but not skillful enough. Prove your worth to me. Oh, and it offends 500 gold now. Shadow hide. And I'm 10 off. The hunter. Damn it. Oh well. Where to next? We could do this quest. So I think we'll head to Coral Southgate and have a look at this. There's a couple of quests that can be done in Coral as well. Going through the quest pretty well right now, so I'm quite happy with that. The Jermaine brothers have been re reunited after they speak. I should speak to Gilbert, who seems the more level headed of the two. I can't believe my good friend. Yeah, I, I don't want to speak to you. I, I can't want to speak thank to you. you enough for helping to reunite me with Reynold. I never would have guessed he was still alive. We have much to discuss. But if you have time, I'd beg you to stay a moment longer and hear about our home, Weatherly. Tell me about Weatherly. Weatherly was our family's home for generations. Our parents fled it when ogres attacked. They became separated. My father carried me to safety. He later returned and believed Reynold and my mother had perished. Since ogres are cannibals, he didn't expect to find their bodies. Thankfully, however, it seems that my mother managed to carry Reynold to safety. While my mother didn't survive, Reynold did, and for that I'm grateful. But we both want more. We want our home back. We're not fighters. You appear to have more skill than either of us. Would you go to Weatherly and see if it's still inhabited by ogres? I will help you reclaim you. Weatherly. Now, we're not quite sure where the estate is located. We'll offer up what we know, however. We believe it's somewhere south of Coral, but north of Fort Kamala. It may be difficult to find. Since no one's lived there for many years, it may be quite overgrown by now. If you find it, let us know. We'll be waiting anxiously. Be careful. And that opens the quest Legacy Lost. 
Perhaps I could ask around town. Do you know where Weatherly is? Yes, I've heard of the place, but I'm not sure where it is. I think your best bet would be to speak to Sabine Lal at the Fighters Guild. I know Sabine, actually. She's explored the back country outside of Coral quite a bit. Thank you. Uh, tell me a bit now. Did you say something to Bitneld? That was very sweet of you. Now he stops by here every day. Ah. Bye. I must have done something there that I didn't realize. Or I didn't go back to her. It's fine. So I think we're going to call it here for now. And um, thank you all again for watching. I appreciate it. Please share, like, How comment, and subscribe. Fine. And I'll see you all next I time. So so sure. Ignorant Northerner signing out. Goodbye.